so hello guys uh, so this is the hotel management project okay so this is the home page of this uh, okay we will be landing on this page only uh, once we run our project so this is the like uh, box where uh, new booking is uh, like done okay so uh, let me uh, restart it okay i'll just restart it see uh, i'll just run it again and you can see that we have landed on this home page okay so like uh, suppose uh, a new customer comes okay then the booking will be done by providing all the details uh, over here in this box okay and by clicking save button so after uh, clicking on save button uh, the details will be like uh, uh, shown over here in this uh, table okay the name contact address and room and the total amount that he needs to pay then this can be uh, printed by clicking on this print button so basically it can be uh, like used as a uh, bill okay uh, so yeah so first of all uh, let's see the rooms that are available in this hotel okay uh, like uh, the customer uh, has an option to see uh, which uh, kind of rooms are available so that he can uh, opt the rooms of his own choice okay so for that we'll go to the rooms section by clicking on this rooms button so see uh, the room information is present over here the room id uh, room number um, number of beds in the room so uh, and uh, the other uh, like accessories present in that like uh, tv wi-fi and uh, geezer and phone okay so whether it is present or not uh, if it is present it will be like true and if it is not present then it will be like false okay and the class of the room like we have three classes like i have given in this project three classes that is uh, uh, the deluxe uh, uh, type the standard type and suit type deluxe is uh, like 3000 uh, standard is of uh, like price 1500 per day this is the cost of one day uh, suit uh, is of 5000 okay so here we can like add uh, different like more types of uh, rooms okay uh, we can delete as well like by clicking on it and by clicking on this delete button this will be deleted okay then uh, we can add as well like uh, uh, just uh, yeah by clicking on this we'll go on room class and if you want to add any different type of room you can add that by giving the name of that type and the price and then clicking on add button okay so it will be shown over here and so and in the room information we will be having this uh, these rooms okay so room number a101 a201 and all okay and uh, as we can see uh, in every room there are two uh, two beds uh, in every room there is a tv there is wi-fi as well but there is no geezer no phone okay so we can edit it also by clicking in on it see first of all we can add any uh, like uh, new rooms as well by giving the details we need to give the room number uh, number of beds and we have to select the type the category type like dealer standard and suit okay any one type then we have to uh, click on the feature that we need to add in the room okay so whatever you want to be there in that room you need to click on that and this room id will be generated by the program itself you don't need to like get the room id by your own it will be uh, provided by the program itself and by providing all these details you will click on add button and one room will be added over here okay then if you want to edit something from the room you just click on that see everything is like shown over here whatever is there uh, you just need to like make changes whatever you feel like and then you have to click on uh, this edit button this will like edit that uh, whole content okay so i'm not doing it right now because i have already done it so i want to keep this as uh, it is so that's why i'm not editing it so you can change it uh, as per your choice okay so now we can see that uh, all the rooms are similar okay the um, there are two beds in each room uh, each room has tv and wi-fi but uh, no geezer and no phones 
and the room class is standard that means uh, the price of uh, every room per day is like 1500 per day okay so now we have to like i'll be showing you by adding a customer over here so yeah see the id uh, we don't need to give the id that will be generated by the program itself uh, we need to give the name so suppose uh, i'm taking the name abc okay and uh, the address as uh, uh, suppose bangalore contact anything then uh, the number of room see uh, this is the box of rooms that i choose okay and uh, this is non editable that that means you can't write over here for rooms you have to click on these okay uh, the room that you want to take okay so suppose i take uh, a201 okay so i'll click on a201 and then i'll click on this button add rooms to the room field okay by clicking on this this uh, gets pasted over here okay in the room section and uh, number of guests so i'll give suppose two and check-in date is 17th okay and uh, check out date is suppose like uh, uh, 19th okay so we are basically staying there for two days okay and the type of like uh, uh, booking is on spot okay not paid reservation or reservations on spot so on spot and i'll save it so after saving it you can see that uh, this uh, appears over here uh, name is abc contact is this address is bangalore room is a201 and total amount that i need to pay is 3000 because uh, i'm staying here for two days and the cost is like 1500 per day so i'll have to like uh, uh, pay 3000 okay and now uh, i can print this detail uh, so i'll do that okay i'll show you that by clicking on this print button and then uh, click on print so printing is in progress and uh, suppose i take the name as uh, desktop as doc2 okay so the printing is done so i'll just show you the like doc2 this is the file okay so it is printed like this okay so it can be used as the uh, you know uh, the bill okay so moving back to the uh, project so you have seen uh, rooms okay and see uh, the new customer that we added just now is like stored in the uh, you know uh, back part and we can see that over here in the customer info uh, it has all the information of all the customers present in the hotel okay so see uh, we added abc over here right now so abc bangalore and this uh, so user id was generated by the program itself as 59 okay and these are the like uh, uh, customers that are already present in the hotel okay we can directly uh, add a new customer from here itself like by giving name address phone number type and id and by clicking on add okay we can also make changes in their uh, like details and we can also delete them uh, delete their like uh, data as when when required okay so if you suppose uh, I just click on this and I'm changing its detail from ABC to I'm changing its name to uh, DEF. Okay, and I'm clicking on edit. So after doing that, see it is like uh, changed from ABC to DEF. Okay, and uh, suppose I want to delete this, so I'll just delete it by clicking on the delete button. I'll just click on delete and it's deleted. Okay. So this was the uh, customer info. Now we have uh, three more options. So this is the booking diary. In this we have like uh, the menus of food items uh, present in the hotel. Okay, I have just given three. Okay, the egg roll, pizza, and uh, baby corn. Okay, and their prices. And uh, this is the like uh, extra accessories. Uh, okay, present in the uh, hotel. Uh, like uh, extra activities that we provide. 
So I have given just swimming and the cost for that is 200. Uh, this is the like description thing. So this is the like menu or menu thing. And uh, so we can like see here is the food uh, option. If you click on this, we will go on to this page where all the food items present in the menu is uh, like shown over here. Okay, you can make changes into it over here by clicking on it. Suppose I just uh, click on egg roll. Okay, and I change it, uh, its price from 100 to sub, uh, 200 to 100. Okay, and I click on edit. So, uh, let's see, it's not like changed right now. We will have to uh, first cancel it, then again go to food, and you can see that uh, it has changed from 200 to 100. Okay. So you can edit this uh, over here by clicking on it and you can add any new food as well. Okay. So suppose uh, I add one thing like chicken egg roll. Chicken roll. Okay. And we don't need to like uh, give the food ID that will be generated by the program itself. So the name of the food is chicken roll and uh, price is... Uh, let's take 150 okay and i'll add it so see successfully added again you'll have to uh, cut it and then go to food again see you can see that chicken roll and 150 and it it will be reflected over here also in this booking diary uh see uh egg roll was changed from 200 to 100 chicken roll was added as 150 the price was 150 and similarly uh, in this other items you can go and you have the extra activities thing okay you can add uh, any extra activities over here by giving its uh, name a small description about it and uh, the price and just clicking on add you can change it also like you can edit things as well uh, over here by clicking on edit button okay uh, just change whatever you feel like and then click on edit or you can also delete it by clicking on delete so yeah and we just come back to this home page so this was the like uh, the whole program okay the whole project uh, i hope you all liked it thank you